All righty. It's time for part two of the Facebook Friday Q&A. Thanks again to you guys that submitted your questions. Let's just dive right in. Chris D. Beckley asked, do you think Adam Rose would have gotten over as Leo Kruger? Um, and do you think it was too soon rushed for Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens? The second part, absolutely. I don't know why they had to go right fucking into that. Nor did I see why they had to go to that at all. Uh, I don't know if he would have gotten over as Leo Kruger or not. Because again, if Vince and Kevin Dunn didn't like him, regardless if it wasn't going to matter what fucking gimmick he was going to be. Um, Duke Morris, fuck Mary Kill, Katie Seagal, Mr. Huxtable, or Wendy Williams? Probably fuck Katie Seagal, especially Peggy Bundy, Katie Seagal. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Mary, Mrs. Huxtable, and then uh, we don't have any usage for Wendy Williams. James Fields, your thoughts on legendary porn star Dino Bravo. Why was he a porn star? Was it because he had so many holes that they couldn't possibly f be filled by other men's penises? <laughs> Stiff as a board. He's dead. That's what I think about him. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I am Brandon Burst Burstian. Uh, did you ever watch Power Rangers as a kid? And if so, why? Yes, I did because it was something on TV. And let's see here. He also asked, how would you book Smokey to win this year's Royal Rumble and beat Brock Lesnar for the title at WrestleMania? Um, well, here's probably what would happen. Is you'd have to have Mark Henry and Sheamus just getting beaten down by the entire fucking roster. And just, like, everybody's tag teaming on him. And then Enter 29 comes in and is fucking fool killer. And he comes down and he does fool killer crap. Maybe he's got uh, the ghost of fourth dimension fool killer off on the side. I don't fucking know. And then here comes Enter number 30. And the people think it's going to be Daniel Bryan. He's going to save the day. And here comes 30 pounds of big gray and sexy motherfucker. And here comes Smokey right up on top of the ramp. He's sitting, he look, and the look on everybody's faces, they know they's about to get fucked up. Smokey would come bolting down that ramp. Y'all think because he was big, gray, and sexy, that motherfucker couldn't move. I tell you, he had jets. He had that fucking jet plane acceleration, man, especially when the can opener was going. Holy Christ. He'd come out there and he'd fucking clean house. He'd save Mark Henry and Sheamus, and then Mark Henry and Sheamus would do what Mark Henry and Sheamus are supposed to do in that situation. They would fight each other, begin their battle to WrestleMania. They would eliminate each other, leaving Smokey with fucking Fool Killer. And then we know what happens from there. Fool Killer gets his ass whooped, and Smokey wins the Royal Rumble and goes on and beats the shit out of Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania with a precious run in. You goddamn right. Patrick Diskell. What's your favorite Raw and non-Big Four pay-per-view match? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what, what one favorite non-Big Four pay-per-view match I would have. Uh, yeah, and as far as my favorite Raw of all time? I don't know. There's a lot of them over the years. I don't know if I could pick just one. CT General, if The Rock came back for one more WrestleMania match, would you like to see him have one more as a heel? Be interesting dynamic. I'm not sure if it would work, but it would be worth giving a shot. You'd have to have the right face, though. You really have to have the right face. You really have to have the right baby face. And I just don't know if they have that right type of baby face at this point in time. See here, Navpreet Singh. If when some of these guys like Balor, Owens, Itami, and Zayn become big politickers, do you think the hardcore fans will turn on them or ignore it because those guys are gods of the Indies? They'll, they'll be like, and rightfully so, they'll be like, these guys have got what it takes to be big time players in the WWE. And if they learn how to politic, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to praise the shit out of them because that's what they do in order to survive. That's what they must do in order to survive. I'm most certainly not going to shit on anybody for understanding the politics of the business and playing the politics of the business to try and get ahead and overcome the Breakfast Club. Oh, and by the way, anybody ever noticed that Breakfast Club has a huge propensity for making daughters? Just saying. Uh, James G. Henry, uh, was Brock a bigger star in WWE or in UFC? U WWE, because he had more eyeballs on him, I would think. Uh, he might have had more impact, though, on the UFC, but I think he was a bigger star in WWE because he had more eyeballs on him. Brandon Leslie, uh, when would you have done an HBK versus The Rock feud? It would have had to have been at some point in time in 98. 
if Michaels would have stayed around, let's say, post WrestleMania 14, and you still had DX around, and you still had the nation together, that's when he would have had to have done uh, Rock versus HBK. That's probably when he would have had to do it. Uh, let's see here. Nick Anderson, do you think the best way to end a streak would have been a Money in the Bank cash-in? Think about it. Ultimate element of surprise, and it would have built a new star. A lot of things would have been better what the fuck they ultimately ended up doing. AK Infinity, what diva do you think gives the best blowjobs, fucks the best, and is the biggest tease? Um, let's see here. Who gives the best blowjobs? Uh, looking at assumed experience, we probably have to say Rosa. Uh, fucks the best. A lot of them have had a lot of practice. I'd probably say Layla. I'd probably just want to assume Layla. I don't know, there's something about Naomi tells me she's a bit of a dead fish unless she's riding you. And then who would be the biggest tease? Um, uh, who would be the biggest tease? Uh, hmm. I don't know if any of them would be a tease. Uh, I can see like AJ being a tease, like being flirty. Like teasing everybody but not giving up to anybody. Um, let's see here. Brandon A. Kids. Why does Mark Henry keep disappearing? It's just not the same for him without Smokey. That's exactly what it is. And, you know, the WWE just doesn't have the fear of Smokey anymore. You think about it for a second. Just really think about it for a second. He got behind Mark Henry. What, what happened with Mark Henry? He got behind Sheamus. What happened with Sheamus? He got behind Kenny King and TNA. What happened with Kenny King and TNA once he did that? He got behind Daniel Bryan. A lot of you forget SummerSlam 2013. What happened with Daniel Bryan? Almost immediately, the entire culture and climate changed. When Smokey endorsed Daniel Bryan, everybody was assuming this was John Cena's big spotlight match of the year candidate match. Nobody was talking about this shit. And then also, within 48 hours, Smokey says, I'm going to be about Daniel Bryan, motherfucker. And that's exactly what happened. And then he said AJ Styles would need to win. At Bound for Glory 2030, it was kind of like his last parting blow, if you will. It was just not the same for Mark Henry. I think everybody senses it and they feel it. All right, let's see here. Juan Carlos Alcantara. Should Alex Riley take over as a commentary commentator for Raw alongside Michael Cole? No, he needs to be back in the ring wrestling, which is where it sounds like he's going. Isn't that right, Alex Criley? Mike Spence Jr., how much punishment do you think Seth Rollins will get? Uh, he should be forced to look at his uh, groin region three times a day. I think he's been given enough punishment already, don't you? Uh, Kieran George, what did you think of NXT Arrival or NXT Rival? I didn't watch it yet, so uh, when I do, I might talk about it. I don't know if I'll do a review on it or it'll just be part of the triple threat. I'm not sure yet. Zenya Berry, do you think it should be Goldust versus Stardust or Goldust versus Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania? And should Dusty be the special ref? I'd be fine with Dusty being the special ref, but I think it needs to be Goldust versus Cody Rhodes. I really do. I'd even go a step further, and maybe it needs to be Cody versus Dustin. Mm-hmm. With Dusty as a special ref. And I think it would really work a lot better if Dustin was the heel, not Cody. I doubt they're going to go that direction, though. Uh, Bruno Rodriguez, who's more over, Seth Rollins or his dingling? Oh, Seth Rollins, clearly. <laughs> Pat Bazzini, did Bugs Bunny politic to make sure that Daffy Duck wouldn't be the main good guy anymore? Probably. Wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> he also wants to know, do you think Seth Rollins should become the rated X superstar? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Kenneth John Delaney, are you excited for Reigns of Media? You damn right, brother. <laughs> he also wants to know, what wrestler would you least like to see leaked nudes of? Um, <laughs> male or female? Uh, let's see here. Male. Who would be like the biggest disaster of just you would not want to see that? It just could not end well. Uh, I, I suppose Big Show. Oh, God. And then as far as... Uh, a woman who would be the one that I would least like to see nudes of. Um, um, hmm. <laughs> oh, 
God, who would I least like to see nudes of? Oh, probably Paige. <laughs> and he also wants to know who in NXT now is a future world champ. Uh, at this moment, I don't know if any of them are. I think there's some good hands. I think there's some guys that can become stars to a degree, but I don't know if there's any world champs there at the particular moment. I'm not saying there isn't. I'm just saying I'm not sure that there is. Uh, Mitch Lopez, why are all your thumbnails so attractive? But when we see the vid, it's just you sitting down as always. The thumbnails, I'm trying something different, they appear. Uh, are part of the video. They're a way to get you to want to click on the video, but furthermore, they also do, if you notice, tend to tie into the video itself. They do. Just saying. Uh, and then also wants to know, when do you see Bray Wyatt turning face? Um, I don't see it happening anytime soon if he's going to wrestle Taker or WrestleMania. Uh, Joe Gutfeld, what's your favorite WrestleMania? Uh, let's see here. Also, what's your favorite WrestleMania main event? Oh, I thought this was already understood that my favorite WrestleMania of all time is clearly WrestleMania 3. Uh, favorite WrestleMania main event as a kid would have to clearly be also Hogan versus Andre at WrestleMania 3, but I have others. Hogan Warrior at WrestleMania 6. Uh, Michaels Taker at 25. Austin Michaels at 14. I mean, so, but I always have to go back to Hogan Andre at 3. Uh, Josh Giles, if hardcore wrestling fans are the WWE's Tea Party, then who are the wrestling? Who are wrestling's Koch brothers? Okay, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, who would be? I don't know if you'd really have a comparison there. Maybe USA Network. I don't. I don't really know. I mean, that's a that's a good question. Who would be their Koch brothers? I don't really know. It's a good question. Demetrius Blackwell, did you see the video response to Triple H not having China in the Hall of Fame by Vince Russo in China? If so, what are your thoughts? I did not, so I do not have any thoughts. Just didn't have any interest in watching it. Uh, Lance Clearman, if Brian becomes WWE World Heavyweight Champion and Rollins successfully cashes in at Mania 31, do you think the IWC will go nuts and start the <laughs> worst WrestleMania ever? Hashtag. If Daniel Bryan became the champ and then Rollins cashed in, the hashtag would be yes, 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 or best WrestleMania ever. Even with Daniel Bryan losing, it would be one of their other heroes, Seth Rollins, at one. How would they not want that? Because then that would assume that Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins is going to be the feud post-WrestleMania. That would almost be like an IWC dream. Daniel Bryan beats Brock Lesnar and or Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, yet Seth Rollins cashes in. So Money, Bank, Money in the Bank winner wins that many. You know, you get what I'm saying? How would they not like that? Matt Mefe, who would you have Bray face at Mania other than The Undertaker? Um, if he was babyface, maybe Triple H. I would go in that direction. Uh, I would have waited maybe to sit there and do him and Dean Ambrose if he was still heel. And there's different things I would have done. Maybe I'd send a face Wyatt at a heel Sheamus. I don't know. There's a lot of different things I would have done. I just wouldn't send him a taker. Uh... Davon Evans, do you think WWE fucked up with Fandango or is it doomed to fail for them to start with this gimmick? No, I think they fucked it up because they lost interest. You know, sometimes it takes longer for these characters to work. If you don't get behind them, if you don't give them a chance, how are they ever going to get over? Uh, Chris Wasson, do you think Kevin Steen, Kevin Owens was given the title too soon? Maybe, maybe not. Only time will tell. I don't know if it really matters all that much. Uh, let's see here. David Red, should WWE have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal this year? Sure, why not? It gets 30 individuals or whatever many on the show. I think that's a good thing. So, yes, I think they should have it every year. I think it's kind of a lazy thing going away because it's a bit of a crutch for the WWE. They can say, eh, we don't need to get as many compelling storylines going because we just throw 30 people in this. But I do like the thought of everybody being able to get on the WrestleMania show. So as a result, I'm okay with having that battle royal every year going forward. I think that's a nice tradition if you're not going to have the Money in the Bank match as part of Mania, which I think it should. So anyways, thanks to you guys that uh, excuse me, posted your questions to Facebook for this Q&A. If you didn't watch part one, make sure you go back and watch part one. Make sure you check out some of the other great content here on OTRS Central.